Hello everyone, welcome to 901 Woodworking. I'm Hubert Mace, and today we're going to look at how to take one of these wine barrels apart. The first step in taking apart a wine barrel is to understand how it is put together. Wine barrels are made out of approximately 30 or so staves arranged in a circle around a flat top and bottom. Each of these staves is very precisely cut and bent so that when you arrange them around the tops and bottom in a circle, the gaps between them are extremely tight. Metal hoops are then pounded over these staves and keep them together and force them against each other. Adding liquid into the barrel, like wine or a whiskey or anything that the barrel might be designed to hold, causes the wood inside to swell up and seal any of the tiniest cracks that might be present. This is what seals a barrel and makes it completely watertight. The last step in the manufacturing process is to drive nails through the hoops in either two or three places around the hoop. This helps the hoop to stay in place. In order to take a wine barrel apart, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need some pliers of some sort so you can grab the nails and pull them out. You're going to need a drift or punch, a fairly large one preferably, and a hammer. And in some cases, depending on how the barrel is put together, you may need a screwdriver or some sort of a, a, a small fine chisel. The first step in taking the wine barrel apart is to remove the nails that hold the rings on. In the case of this barrel, the nails are a cut nail in the shape of a T, and it's pretty easy to use your pliers and grab the nail. And in this case, what I do is I take the nail and I twist it. I give it a bit of a twist. This helps to loosen the nail from the wood and makes it much easier to pull out. And out it comes. Do this to all the other nails as well. Work your way around the barrel. Make sure that you've gotten all of the nails out and all of the hoops. I work on one half of the barrel at a time, so I'll take the nails out of these top three rings first, and then remove the ones from the other side once I turn the barrel over. Now here we have a problem. The head of the nail is missing. It's been broken off. So I can't get to that particular nail. In this case, because it is the second ring from the top, that's not a problem, and I'll show you why in a moment, I can still get this ring off. If it happened on a lower down ring like this one, it would be more difficult to deal with, and I might have to drill it out or take a punch and push the nail further in so that the hoop is free. In the case of this barrel here, the nails that were used by the cooperage are a round head nail, a more traditional type of nail, and the process of installing the nail has created a dimple in the ring, which means the head is kind of sitting sub-flush, and I can't grab that with my pliers. So what I need to do is bring this nail out a bit further so I can grab it with the pliers. And I do that with my screwdriver, use a cheap one because you're going to be beating on it, or a small chisel. Take a screwdriver. Work your way around the head until it pops out and you can grab it with your pliers. Okay, once you have all the nails out, the rings can come right off. This is where the hammer and the punch come in. Again, remember your eye protection whenever you're using a hammer and any chisel of any sort. Work your way around the ring, slowly working the ring up off the barrel. And there's the first ring. This is when you can tell that you've got a new barrel or a barrel that's been recently used, these rings will be tight. They'll be on there very tightly and it'll take, it can take quite a while sometimes. Now here we're running against this nail that the head was broken off of. And it's still holding the ring in place and this part of the ring does not want to move up. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the other side of the ring completely and because of the taper of the barrel, 
we'll be able to take the string and lift it up and off of that broken nail. And there you have it. And there you can see the broken nail sticking out. We'll be able to get that up pretty easily with a hammer. All right, let's keep going. Perfect. When I've got this last string starting to come loose, I like to make sure that everything is cleared off the top of the barrel. It is possible for these staves to open up, to relax and open up, and for the top to actually fall into the barrel. I don't want to have tools and old nails here inside of it that I then later have to clean up. You might have heard it, the top just fell into the barrel. And now what's happening is all of that aroma from the wine is coming up and it's just filling the room. It's a really, it's a wonderful smell if you're a wine lover. Okay, that's the last ring on this side. Now, we turn the barrel over and repeat the process. Here we have another broken nail head. We use the exact same method that we did on the other side. We have a slightly different problem with this ring now, and that is because both of the heads of the nails are broken off. So I can't pull either one of them out and get the, the ring started. So what I'll do is I'll use a finer punch and drive one of the nails deeper into the wood so that I can get the ring started up over it. I'll have to dig that nail out later once the, uh, the stave is free, but at least I can get it. simply fall apart, or in some cases, it, parts of it will, other parts will not. Sometimes those parts need a little help. And there you have it. And that barrel taken apart. It is at this point that I will look through the staves and find out what we have, kind of take stock of what I have. I'll find the wide ones here, a nice wide one here, as I thought, and there's another wide one here. These two will make excellent armrests for Adirondack chairs. Find the stave with the fill hole in it as well. Put that one aside. This is a very important one. So there you have it. This is how you take a barrel apart. I hope this was helpful. Please leave a comment in the comments section. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.